Hi, this is Phil Pry, Director of Business and Finance for the Sun Prairie Area School District, giving the school board and the public a report, a report on the adoption of the 24-25 budget without a successful referendum. So to start off, um, we need to present two budgets to the public and to the school board and two tax levies. So it's definitely more confusing than most years, but the reason for that is by state statute, the school board needs to approve a budget and a tax levy by the end of October. Our referendum is November 5th. Um, so depending on if it passes or fails, then we'll send out the correct budget and tax levy to the municipalities. But again, the reason we're doing this is just because of state statutes on timing. Um, sorry, it does make it confusion, uh, confusing, but hopefully not too confusing. And if you have any questions on that, first, feel free to reach out to me. So this first report is again, adoption of the 24, 25 budget without a successful referendum. Um, the major revenue changes that we've had since the annual meeting are these. One, our enrollment went up by 178 students. If you remember, we built the budget on 60 students. So that increase in enrollment or membership does increase our budget. Um, so that's, that's, Again, definitely increased our budget because the more students you have, the more money you have in your budget. That's about $500,000 more in revenue because of that. Our equalized aid um, estimate that we received from DPI on July 1st actually went down by $420,000 on October 15th. So a slight decrease on equalized aid than what we thought we might get. Our property tax levy did increase by $1.8 million. The reason for that is the enrollment that I talked about above. The private school vouchers and independent charter schools continue to grow for our district, so I need to budget more money for that, and that is an increase in the tax levy. The decrease in state aid that I just mentioned. And then we also received about $700,000 of transfer service. Uh, that's for our special ed students and our multilingual students. That money gets added to our budget in October, so that was an increase. We also did receive some good news. Um, the state sent out what's called a personal property tax aid, something that wasn't expected from school districts, uh, but we found out about it late September. And for Sun Prairie, that's $700,000 that we were able to add to our budget, and there's no direct cost to that. So speaking of costs, that major expenses since the annual meeting, uh, we've had to increase our open enroll out budget by 250,000 because we had a slight increase in open enrollment out. We also had an open enrollment in increase too. So I think I put that information up above here. You can see where our open enrollment numbers have been. Then other increases to the budget, uh, because we added so many students over the summer, we did add quite a bit of staff, uh, six staff members. I think I've mentioned the school board that so that's a cost. Um, I mentioned that transfer service for special education and multi-language students, that's $670,000 worth of cost that was added to the budget. Our short-term borrowing expense came in a little bit higher than I originally thought. We had to, again, as I mentioned before, independent charter schools budget increased um, by 230,000 and then private school vouchers, that budget increased by over 100,000. The good news is with all those adjustments, our deficit is planned now to be just over $3 million. That's lower than what we took to the electors at the annual meeting, it was 3.7. Um, so that's good news that we were able to lower that deficit, plan deficit. Our overall budget for the district is just uh, over 200 million. So 207 million, 48,616 is all our funds. Uh, attachment one, which I won't open up here, is the 6590. That is the official document that we sent to the STAR with all the information I just talked about. And then attachment two is the actual revenue limit worksheet that the state of Wisconsin gives um, to all districts, and that's for Sun Prairie District specifically, the revenue limit worksheet. So again, I know this is a little confusing this year that we're approving two budgets. Um, and two tax levies, and I'll do a couple, three more situation reports on all that. Again, I'll say it one more time. If you have any questions about this, just uh, reach out to me. That would be great. Thank you.